Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Today I want to start with a quote, a beautiful quote uh, from Rumi. And of course, if you know Rumi, you also know that he is one of the most um, renowned poets from uh, Persia and one of the biggest quotes that he's got is lovers don't finally meet somewhere they're in each other all along and there are a thousand ways to kneel and kiss the ground and there are a thousand ways to go home again so when I think about Rumi, it's uh, about relationships, and this is one of the most, um, this is one of the quotes that I have quoted many times, and it's, you have to keep breaking your heart until it opens. So I started with the quote today because so much of what we do in life is a story is a story it's a quote when we think about it I, I i come up with quotes all the time so today's message is what is your story because we all have a story and my clients who come to me and they have their own story and they have their own perception of their story right so what is the truth is it he said she said or the reality i'm lisa bubari and this is the 3e event journey within and harness your inner power september 30th october 1st at the western rancho mirage resort and spa get your tickets today at the 3e event.com my name is lisa bubari by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, and I help you go from pain to gain. And what does pain mean? Most of my clients who come here, they feel a sense of powerlessness um, when they feel anxious or going through anxiety, feeling insecure or going through negative thoughts. Through the work that I do, either through hypnotherapy or action coaching i take them through this process of evoking embracing and evolving which is evoking what was it's understanding why you feel powerless why you feel insecure why you feel anxious deep inside you or going through this uh, negative thought and patterns and holding on to that right in order to embrace all of that you are to accept the reality and understand everything about your story about your history about your experiences has brought you to where you are today now if you want to evolve and go to the next step. You have to know what it is that you want. And I take you to that gain, which is feeling great about who you are. Feeling, as someone just said, after they finish the, their VIP sessions and everything, he says, I feel relieved as if I have a whole new concept about myself. I like myself. I can quote you. He says, I like myself more yes that's true i said he because i do see clients who are male who are men i do work with children from ages of eight and up and of course women is what i specialize in in their wellness in their healing and everything but i see all clients because our issues it doesn't segregate who we are, where we come from, 
what religion or what we look like. It's just, this is who we are. And I treat you as a whole. So when we gain that perspective of greatness, feeling great about all of who you are, and going to feeling more independent and feeling more acceptance deep inside in order for you to start nurturing and nourishing yourself that's the game part okay that's the my pattern this is how i work with my clients sometimes it's magic it happens in four sessions sometimes it may take more but it's not about me it's about you so the other day we were having a group over here and someone said i want to help this person feel better well that's amazing and i'm going to do everything that's awesome and i want that to happen here's the thing i want this to happen for all my clients but it's not mine every single one of us has our own journey our own journey of healing of our journey of going through that pain and just like Rumi said it's uh, it's we have to keep breaking our heart until it opens until it cracks open and it doesn't mean that we have to be devastated right it's just understanding what does it mean? So in Farsi, there's this um, poem. It says, I will translate it for you as well. And it says, Bejoye dastigoli ki farda bar guram nesor mikoni, imruz ba shakhi goli kuchak, yadam ko. Va be avaz ashkoi ki farda bar guram nesor mikoni, امروز با لبخندی کوچک یادم کن امروز که در نزد تو هم مرحمتی کن فردا که شدم خاک چه سود عشق ندامت تو Yes, you didn't know that I can also recite poetry and that's what I did as a child I used to write stories I used to write lyrics I used to write poetries and what this poem says it says instead of bestowing a bouquet of flowers on my grave why not make me happy what one butt of flower and instead of all the tears that you are going to shed upon my grave when i am gone why not make me happy with just a smile today that i am here with you let us enjoy this instead of wondering after I am gone. And that is exactly what I want to talk to you. If you want to make a change in your life, if you want something, if you are aspiring for something, choose today. We all have hard choices. But sometimes the choices that we make, like my client, when he was telling me when he first came here and he was talking about the devastation of how his divorce was and the things that he went through, how his heart was broken because he truly wanted that to work and he was adamant making it work. And now a year and a half later, He's realizing he feels better, he's thinner, he is healthier, he's not drinking as much, he's not numbing himself, he is happier, his work, his business has tripled. And because he says, I felt like I was constantly under the thumb and uh I, I was not me i was constantly walking on eggshells yes men feel the same thing as we do so there is no man woman when we feel constricted when we feel limited and it may not be real 
It might be your perception. But until the time you don't look back and say, you know what? Everything that happened, now I see the light. Now I see how this has benefited me. And instead of dwelling on the past of the negativity, now he's looking of all the positivity to see how he has grown, how he is standing up for himself. You know, after age 50, you ought to look and say, I do matter. So I had this beautiful testimonial that was sent and it was for my 3E event. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Yes, it's a testimonial that one person sent uh, about three years ago after my events and it says I cannot stress enough the world needs more of the 3E event to help us women with words and wisdom and it's all these speakers who gave me new eyes and new way to look at the world and I learned so much of my own limitations and overcame my own fears even at the event so what I'm not gonna read the, most of the testimonials because I want you to receive our newsletters to sign up with our newsletters be part of our community of the 3e and learn how to heal within you know I say transformation begins when we heal within why healing does not mean that I'm broken, I am devastated, I'm, I, I'm, I, I need healing, but healing is just like the poem that I recited. It's appreciating who you are right here, right now. Every single morning when you wake up, just be grateful for all your senses, every aspect of you. When we think about negativity and we wake up, and if you start practicing gratefulness every single day, you will realize if you do that for 33 days, which is my philosophy of doing things in three times three, which is the nine number nine of completion, you will see that you come from that negativity into the positivity and automatically your entire mood in the morning shifts. This morning, I was talking to Michael Butler, which is our uh, main sponsor for our event, our title sponsor, the publisher of my book. And oh my God, which reminds me, if you are not going to be at the 3E, you're going to miss out at this amazing event because we're going to announce something which is absolutely amazing. And yes. And I want you to be there so I can invite you to join me. And, okay, I retracted again. Talking to Michael Butler. Um, guess when? At 7.30 in the morning, I'm walking my dog. I'm on that beautiful trail. I'm on the phone with Michael. And I stop and I say, oh, I wish you were here to see the beauty of what I see and I took a picture and I sent it to him and I want you to realize when you become present no matter what if you're talking to someone else if you're walking you're walking your dog you're talking to some uh, your child your partner your lover your parents pause for a moment appreciate that very moment because we never know what happens five minutes from then on That, that moment that you say yes to you, that you are present for you, that you become present with nature and God, you say yes to who you are. It's like saying, I matter. 
And that's the work that I do. I make sure that when from the moment you step in here, you realize you do matter. You do matter not only to me, to my team, to my staff, and you matter when you are a part of our community or tribe, when you are at the Heal Within, either here at our healing center or when you join us at the 3E event, from the moment you step out of the door and you walk in, you will feel embraced knowing that you matter. And so will your guests. And every single one of my speakers will treat you as if thank you for being here. You know why? Because they matter. You matter. We all do. And that is the message I wanted to bring today to you. Doesn't matter all the things that I have done, being in the book, being a speaker, putting an event together. Bottom line, I'm one of you. I went through so many hardships. I have been broken down. I have been bullied. I have been told off. I have been asked to leave uh, a meeting. I have been fired from so many businesses and works. Uh, I mean, not works, but jobs. Two law firms who fired me. And it was, I walked out, I'm going, wow, I just got fired. And when I went home and I told my dad, I remember that day, my dad looked at me and says, again? <laughs> you know, sometimes, I, I'm laughing at it now. It was devastating then because I was like dumbfounded. How can you fire me? I work hard, nine hours, 10 hours I'm at that law firm. But it was that firing that led me to the next job that was better. If I wasn't fired from that one job, I'm, I cannot say it was not a law firm, but another position, it would not have forced me to do this work full time. Really, I, I was dabbing into hypnotherapy like a part time. Why? Because in the mornings, I was working for someone else, promoting them, working hard in the membership and doing everything. And like, next thing you know, the person who hired me within a month and a half said, sorry, do not come back tomorrow. Called me at seven o'clock at night. And I was in my office, my first office that I had uh, when I opened my office as a hypnotherapist. And at that time I was so self-conscious because it was my perception that if I'm doing this in the morning and then I'm doing this part-time, mm, what would people think of me? Now that I'm just thinking about it, although that was my perception then, I had not even voiced it until now because I didn't think I was good enough. 22 years later, you walk into my office. I know I can make a difference in your life. I know I can make a difference in what you want to accomplish. I know I can help you go from pain to gain. I know you can shift habits and behaviors. If you have the desire, if you choose, I stand by you. So choose today, be clear and say yes to yourself. My name is Lisa Bouvari, and I am proud to say I am here every single week to give you tools, techniques, in a way so that you can stand up, show up, and speak up for yourself. As a matter of fact, starting tonight, not only in the mornings, become present and appreciative. But what if, starting tonight, right before you go to sleep, 
you take a small little notebook like this, just a small little tiny notebook, and just like me, every night you write five things you are grateful to for that day. And when my clients come here, I do something. I say, let's start with three wins and three challenges of the week. And you can do the same thing. Three wins of the day, three challenges of the day. What is it that was challenging for you? And what were the wins that you had? And it could be as simple as, I brush my teeth, or I went for a walk, I took my dog for a walk, or I kissed my whoever you want, blink, before I walked out the door and I said, see you later, I love you. If you start practicing any one of this and recognizing and appreciating yourself for doing this, that's a win. So for that, it takes just a choice. We all have choices. What do we choose? What do you choose? So if you are like this post, thank you for all of you who follow me and for some who don't even leave a comment but when I see you, you say, you know what? I saw your post and I just wanted to say it was wonderful. I appreciate and I thank you for that because my mission is making one impact each time. And that can be a day, a week, a month. If I make an impact in one person, that's my million dollar job. Until next week, I bid you goodbye. Please do share. If you like it, comment something. I want for you to make a comment or share. And the comment says, such a beautiful, inspiring poem. Love it. Go from pain to gain. Say yes to yourself. Amen. Thank you, Christiana. Thank you for being part of Heal Talk Tuesdays and the Heal Within team. And for all of you, I am grateful for being here. You can subscribe, share, and until next week. Oh, and yes, I will put the link for you or someone you know who wants to be part of the 3E event happening September 30th and October 1st, Friday and Saturday in Rancho Mirage, um, at the Westin Five Star Hotel. Absolutely amazing, powerful speakers, and healing for you. It's time for you to show up, stand up, and speak up because you have the right as a child of God. You deserve. Thank you. See you next week. And until next week, God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. I'm Lisa Bubari, and this is the 3E event. Journey within and harness your inner power. September 30th, October 1st, at the Western Rancho Mirage Resort and Spa. Get your tickets today at the3eevent.com. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.